Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about what is a database and what is a database management system. And essentially, uh, like we want to take it a little bit further and then we want to see like, you know, what is the initial research and how this thing evolved. Okay, clearly what we found out last time that we're not going to scan it and store it. So instead of that, what are you going to do? We are going to take these elements, each atomic things, what is available here, like first name, last name, middle name, date of birth, place of birth, and so on. And then we are going to place them, we are going to organize them in, in, in a way. And that's what we call a database. So so initial research, whatever started, is back in 1960s uh, with a gentleman named Charles Backman. So Charles Backman were working for Codacell, which is a group that is basically that time it was it was it was giving the specification how a language should be. And Codacell is the is is the one that started the uh, language specification for a very popular language which later become COBOL. Okay. So while working for uh, for Codacell. Charles Beckman wants to find out a way how we can store those things. So let's take a uh, basically a, uh, let's take an up, let's take an way how he approached this thing. So what he did is this is a certificate of birth. So he took out let's say first name and let's say first name is a Jack and last name let's say Callis and let's say the date of birth is 1962. Okay, and then there are a lot of other things are there. And for the, for this uh, simple simplicity to explain his concept, so let me take first name, last name, and date of birth. Okay, so what he what he did, he take this thing and then put them in a record. Okay, so what he call this is a record, and then another record. So another record is let's say another birth certificate. So let's say Sue. Last name is Vickers. Um, birthday is 1965. Okay, then what he say? He linked them together. Okay, so another certificate, another set of records. It's so another link, another certificate, another set of another set of uh, records, and another link. So, so what he did is he put all those information, atomic information, and then he put them in a record, and then each records are linked. Okay, and then whenever we we start a database whenever we start this uh, open the database okay so then it is basically what happened is just a simply a link list that is connected is connected to each other okay so whenever the database start for the first time the the pointer points to this first L record and then it, it, it will navigate through this bunch of links, interconnector links, and then get you the information. Let's say you want to find out the question that you are asking that if you want to find out how many people are born in 1962, then you go to this record, navigate to this record from the very beginning, and all the way you go to the end, and whenever you find out a date about 1962, you encrypt your counter. So that is how you will come to know about how many people are born in 1962. And this approach is called navigational database model, database system, DBMS. Okay, so this is called navigational DBMS. And then why it is called navigational? The reason is that we will navigate from one record to another record. So again, let's discuss what is the pain points. So what is the problem in this kind of navigational relational model? Let's say I ask you how many people are born in state of Hawaii in 1962 then what are you going to do you are going to first navigate and then figure out 1962 and Hawaii together so so that count, counts a record for you so again the search is going to be a little bit difficult it's much better than whatever we saw before but still this is not what we wanted we wanted a just instantaneous response and that's not going to happen here's another problem let's say it's, it's not it's not necessary that everybody has a last name so if 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 if, if a guy doesn't have any last name then what's going to happen is that we are going to create a record without with a space empty space okay so imagine like you know and this is just a very toy example of three elements in a record so when we have say 100 elements in record it's very likely that we might have some optional data point which is not necessary to be part of that record so in that case what you're going to do we are going to create a lot of empty spaces in between in, in, inside a record and that is not a good idea because we are just keeping the space empty and we're not using it and we might fill the disks. So this is this not be a problem at this point of time. In the modern modern age, the disks are almost 
it's, it's very cheap but in those days it was a huge issue and this is the issue that was being uh, resolved by another scientist called Edgar Cord and in the next video we are going to discuss about what happened after 1970. So, so basically Charles Backman's things worked till 1960 to 1970 and there are two database systems that came out of this uh, this uh, paper and that was IDS by Codasys. Codas Codasil is called Informational Data Store and also IBM started a system called IMS. Okay, So these are the two early database management systems done based on the navigational approach to the database management system pioneered by Charles Backman.